Hello guys, my name is Hassan Faiz, a master of English from Naval and master of history, beard in Med from the University of Peshawar, and I've been teaching English grammar for the last 20 years. And I'm also the author of uh, this book, Modern English Grammar Book, which is included by 700 pages. This is a complete English grammar book. So this was my short introduction. In this class, I'll teach you a very fantastic formula of direct speech and indirect speech. When you want to change a direct speech into indirect speech, so you will apply this formula in within a minute, you will change direct speech into indirect speech without of missing any point. Sometimes many of the students, uh, when they change direct speech into indirect speech, and they don't take any marks, so they think that uh, we have given right answer, but they basically miss a certain point. So if you keep this formula in your mind, so you will never miss a point in you will exactly change uh, direct speech into indirect speech. So this formula is included basically by two steps in the beginning. Step number one, B of C's, and step number two, change of P, T, W, C. Now I'll explain that what do these two acronym means. Uh, acronym mean. So number one, D of C is D is for deletion and C is for commas. So D of C is, it means deletion of commas. And number, uh, step number two, change of P, T, W, C. What, what, are, what are these words stand for? So P represents change of pronouns, okay? T represents change of tenses and w represents change of other words and c represents change of construction so now you see p pronouns t tenses w words it means other words and c construction now how do you apply this formula look at this sentence he said to me have you attended the class yesterday? Now you see this is a direct speech. This is direct speech. And we have written different commas here. When we want to change this direct speech into indirect speech, so we will delete and remove, first of all, all the commas. So this comma and these two inverted commas will be deleted. So deletion of, deletion of commas. This is first step. You will delete all the commas, this comma and inverted commas, whenever we want to change direct speech into indirect speech. This is number one, change number one. So this is deletion of commas. Now come to step number two. And step number two, we will discuss these four letters. Now, look at this sentence. He said to me, have you attended the class yesterday? Here we will discuss two basic points. Change of pronouns and change of tenses. Look at this. He said to me, have you attended the class yesterday? This is a direct speech. And when we want to change into Android speech, so how we will change? We will change two basic things. First of all, pronoun and second, tense. So, he asked me if I had attended the class the previous day. So, this is end right of this direct speech. Now, here we have brought two changes. Number one, we have changed pronoun, as I told you, change of pronoun. So, you has changed to I. He asked me if I had attended the class yesterday. And chain number two is uh, here, you can see, and tense. Present perfect tense has changed to past perfect tense. So, change of pronouns and change of tenses. This is number three. And number four, he said to me, have you attended the class yesterday? Now we will discuss this change of other words. 
when we change direct speech into indirect speech so we have different words which are needed to be changed like uh, today tomorrow yesterday words like that so here we will discuss change of other words he said to me have you attended the class yesterday so yesterday when we change direct speech into indirect speech so yesterday is changed to the previous day so in this sentence in indirect speech he asked me if i had attended the class the previous day so this is change in other words and uh, this one change of construction is automatically occurred in the same sentence if you look at this one have you attended the class yesterday so in this uh, uh, in this uh, reported speech you can see that this is an interrogative sentence have you attended the class yesterday and you know uh, two basic uh, signs of interrogative sentence number one we write usually auxiliary before the subject have you so this is auxiliary and we have written before the subject and this is pronoun you and the second the second sign of interrogative sentence is we write question mark or sign of interrogation at the end of that sentence so we have uh, two signs of interrogative sentence here in this reported speech and this is interrogative sentence but when we change direct speech into indirect speech uh, so that interrogative sentence is changed to a statement so when we change direct speech into indirect speech and their direct speech is in interrogative sentence or exclamatory or optative sentence so that becomes a statement and here if you compare this one how we will understand that this interrogative has become a statement look here have you attended the class yesterday here have is auxiliary before the subject but here auxiliary is after the subject when we write auxiliary after the subject so the interrogative sentence is over now that's not any interrogative sentence anymore so you can say he asked me if i had so had auxiliary comes after the subject and here is not question mark question mark is uh, deleted and we write here stop full stop okay so that becomes the interrogative sentence becomes a statement so that is change of construction so the whole construction is change this is uh, a very short formula i have created myself i have neither copied this formula from somewhere or learned from someone this is my own creation I and mean, i am the creator of this formula and this is evidence you can find uh, this formula only in my book and this is my book d of c's plus change of ptwc and you cannot find it anywhere in the world so this is uh, a very shortcut and comprehensive formula if you keep in mind and whenever you want to change direct speech into indirect speech so apply all these steps and points and you will never miss a point when we change direct speech into and direct speech if you uh, didn't understand this so you, uh, you 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 listen to this video again and again so you will understand and for more video uh, if you uh, if you want to learn more grammar so uh, watch all my videos thank you very much please subscribe like and share bye bye